<laughs> it's good. Aesthetically, it's just so unique and interesting. I don't know, I'm just excited to get more yakitori and beer <laughs> and other foods. It's like you grow up watching anime and movies and stuff and you get this idea of it in your head and it turns out that that's exactly correct. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> So we're going to meet up Andrew's friend, Joey, who is in town. We're gonna have breakfast. <laughs> He's in town, out of town. <laughs> Joey was the reason I kissed my high school girlfriend. <laughs> oh really? First time. Yeah. He convinced you to do that? Yeah, he like locked us both in a room or something. <laughs> <laughs> are these up for grabs? No. What are they, oranges? Yeah, they look like oranges. I, I could definitely reach that one. You guys want me to get it? <laughs> It's much less boring than a regular guardrail. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Station. We're having breakfast, so to speak, but I think it's just gonna be whatever food we can find, not necessarily breakfast foods. Out here, you gotta work for your food. <laughs> this is Andrew's friend, Joey. I got a burrito at 7-Eleven, and they microwaved it for me. <laughs> it's lasagna flavored. <laughs> So we're going to the Akasaka Imperial Grounds right there. Are there any rules we need to follow? Do you see anything? Pretty common sense stuff. <laughs> so this is like, how does this work? Just rinse your hands off. <clears throat> but what is the little cup for? You're not supposed to stick your hands in there. You're supposed to dump the water onto your hands. Oh, oh, like over the rocks. Okay. okay. You can throw the money in this yen. too, right? Yeah. Like the five yen coins or the whole one. Good luck to throw them yeah. in. So you can light a candle here? You put it here and then to you make a wish or anything? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure why I should ever see one of these before. Well, I know that you put money in there and then you shake that thing, right? We're going to Shibuya now to get some lunch. Everything wasn't open yet because it was still before 11 o'clock. But uh, we got like three stations to get there. So this is Shibuya, and this is the Scramble Crossing. At least that's what I've heard it's been called. Uh, right there is where just thousands yeah. of people are going to be crossing. And it's not particularly crowded right now? Not at all. <laughs> like, you can still see like the lines in the street when they're crossing, you know? Like on the ground, but you yeah. won't be able to see that later. I mean, it's just, even from up here. Yeah, even compared to last time we were here, it's like not crowded at all. Like it was very easy to get through it's early. It's Sunday 11, people aren't in yet. So Michael's gonna take us to the Taco Bell. Apparently it's really nice here. It's not like in the US where it's just trash food. <laughs> well, the food is still trash. <laughs> okay, but it's still trash food, the, but the just, restaurant Just itself. the restaurant itself is very different in terms of appeal. Mm. For like the first month or so, you had to wait like at least one or two hours to get in. Wow. Was that beer? They serve beer here too? Yeah, it's got like a very Japanese flavor to it. Taco Bell. Good to meet you, sir. I'm getting this. this. I mean, noodles is what's here. So, like, if you want to get what this place is for, it's noodles. It was like basically like one, or like, it's like one dude. Basically logged into every single one of them uh, in the world. 
and how is it? Andrew. Mm. Very good. Joey? <laughs> Great. What have you been eating <clears throat> while you've been here? Just whatever? You <laughs> fine? A bunch of whatever. I've eaten a lot of food from 7-Eleven. Oh. <laughs> uh, um, a lot of onigiri. I had like a tonkatsu like, thing that they microwave behind the counter. Mm, nice, nice. The hard boiled egg was really good too. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that's an interesting <laughs> egg. What do you think, Brad? Delectable. Definitely better than what they have in Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Joey's leaving. He has to go back to the U.S. today, I think. Um, we're gonna meet up with one of our viewers, Scott Koenig. He's in Akihabara right now. We're gonna go there, look at video games. Should be a good time. <laughs> Living up to his nickname. <laughs> what is it again? Sleeper. Sleeper. <laughs> Brian's a sleeper cell. <laughs> This is like the true electric sound, yeah, this is right? Like yeah. The original one. yeah, but it used to look like before I got cleaned up. Yeah. Cool. You you could build a stereo or whatever from this thing. Well, let's go build a stereo. So last time on the vlog, this was just like a time lapse. We yeah, walked right through it. But like this is the original electric town where you could like make stereos that got capacitors and electric stuff. Can we go through here? I'm just back and forth, it's like a maze. Let's go through. Oh, this is fast. My mother-in-law, she was pretty cool about things. It's pretty sweet. It's like such a I small hall with his hair. Put your head rather that. <laughs> right here. Yeah. Uh, sometimes, you know, one night, he comes over to the house when the By the way, this is Scott. About, hey. You're cool with being on the vlog, right? Oh, no problem. Okay, yeah, he watches Adventure Archives and lives in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> he comes over to the house with like... Well, look, a hydraulic like press. Like that. Oh, that's probably a drill, actually. <laughs> The ginkgo tree, also called maiden hair. Actually, it's one of the um, oldest trees, evolutionarily speaking. And apparently, they found these like preserved in Shaolin temples. I heard, or like wow. Shaolin, yeah. And that this one right here, do you know this one? No. <laughs> <laughs> so they close the streets on the weekends, so you can just roam wherever you want. And lots of times, you'll see like cosplayers and stuff. Don't see any right now, though. I'm pretty sure we went here last year. This is one of the main retro stores in Akihabara. But it's a good one. They got lots of like the old stuff that we like. Yo, it's crowded in here. It's packed. Nice Zelda collection right there. Oh, that is beautiful. It's super narrow in here. Super crowded. That place was called Retro Game Camp. We're gonna go to Trader, which is a, I think it's a chain, but this particular one actually has retro games that we can go look at. This was the place we went to last year, and this was probably my favorite store it's of all time. actually came down in too. price. It's only $545 now. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Affordable now. Oh, wow. Look, that's the original Lanos. That's what they said come down in price. Oh. The boom finally going away. It's good. I hope so. I hope so, yeah. Look, this Tournament Fighters. 88,000 yen. That's like $800. Yep. I don't remember if we showed it last year, but this is the expensive case. They got stuff that's like $800. That's probably the most expensive one here. Um, Mark of the Wolves, $1,000. Damn. We got US imports right here. Wayne's World. This is Super Potato, and this is like the retro game shop in Tokyo, but it's not where you want to buy because it's expensive, but it's the funnest place to go to and look around. <laughs> Oh, it's, uh, it's the original map from the original Zelda. Okay. Oh, cool. I used to have it. <laughs> 
Like, can you imagine seeing this as a kid? Like, your mind, my mind would have melted. I was like, oh god! <laughs> I have a stack of like dead game cubes back here. <laughs> Just like lining the walls. <laughs> okay, is that orange or yellow? It's orange. Jess always said it was yellow, and I was like, you are. Yeah, you can't see old. properly. Okay, the final floor is just the arcade. Snake. This is my buddy Solid Snake right here. It's very smoky up here. Lots of people playing on the arcades. Yo, I think they've got a like, concert. This makes me more. They're just like getting next class. Yeah. Or a lot of stuff from like the Gacha Gacha machine. They bought all of them. These are kind of interesting. They look like handmade. Yeah. Wow, this is just like, this is literally like something you would dream and just be like, I had this dream that I was walking through this place filled with toys everywhere. And then there was things like this every now and then. And to wake you up. And then I woke up. <laughs> Okay, Andrew's gonna have his first gotcha experience. Go for it. Here it comes. <laughs> oh, it's this one. What is this from? 2002 to 2013. Is it Link Between Worlds? Yeah, Link to the Past. No. Kazi no Takuto. It's from Wind Waker. Wind Waker. I don't know what that one is. Link to the Past. Link to the Past. Oh. Which one did you get? I got Link to the Past. Link to the Past. Very nice. I've been doing a lot of this braiding. Uh -huh. What's, what uh, is this? Prusik knot, you know, with your camping. This is Shibati, right? No. What we saw over there? No. <laughs> a a Prusik knot oh, that you use on your tarp and stuff when you're camping. You, well, this is like a super version of that. Pull on the... Uh, okay, now grab the braid itself and try to move it forward or backwards. What? <laughs> it's like, Matt, well, that way yeah, worked it, really easy. Yeah, it tightened yeah. up this. Oh. <laughs> That's crazy, man. It's got a microphone. <laughs> There's some Batman, too. Why do people think of things like that? Good lord, dude. Those Chrono Trigger figures right there. They're like 60 bucks US dollars, but my god. So tempting. <laughs> Alright, so Scott's going home. We're gonna keep on trekking. This is a really cool store called Kotobukiya, which has great figures. Came here last year too, but we're just gonna check it out real quick. Hopefully not buy anything. <laughs> this is the Monster Hunter section. And me, Brian, and Andrew play Monster Hunter all the time. It's really nice to look at these figures. I can look at these, man. So cool. Go home and be a family man. Wait, you are. <laughs> Oh yes! Oh yeah. <laughs> Remember this from the vlog? Yes, I do. That is crazy. Yo, that's magnetic. Do you see that? Whoa, magnetic. This is where we had a kebab last time. Kebab, kebab. Sat down over there. Like a sword. Yep. <laughs> So it's got like beef, and there's cabbage underneath, and then there's like a spicy sauce. Okay, we're gonna find a place to sit down, and maybe get something to eat. Well, we gotta walk back here that way. Okay. Yeah, so last time we were here, this place wasn't closed. So like, I tried to get a shot, just like on the crosswalk while in between the lights. <laughs> Yo, that Shinjuku station is crowded. Wow. We're looking for this place to eat that apparently everything is 297 yen. Including the beers. 
Really? Yeah. So oh. this should be a good place to go. We're headed to the ninth floor right there. Right. We're doing what's called a nomi hodai, which means you can drink as much as you want within a certain allotment of time. So we have an hour and a half to drink as many beers as we can. Michael's not going to be joining us drinking. I don't think Brian's going to drink that much. No. So me and Andrew, we got to get plastered. <laughs> no. <laughs> love me some Japanese beer, boy. But you can... Oh, that's really good, actually. Like, I thought it'd be really strong, but that's really good. It's warm, it's hot stuff. Do you have any yeah. idea what this is, Michael? It's, yeah, it's just like uh, mochi yeah. mochi and potato chips. Mochi oh. and potato chips? Oh, no. no, 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 not mochi. It's mochi mochi. Oh, it's potato and chewy cheese. potato yeah. and cheese. Ah, fried. very good. Fried. That, that, ki that would kill in America. Yeah, it would. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. Michael, I'm I was gonna order them before you guys. Oh <laughs> my dude, I'm about to try one. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. So these are fried octopus balls. These little flakes above them, yeah. they kind of move around. It's bonito, right? Bonito fish flakes. It's made of fish. Yeah, yeah. Fish. And the heat yeah. makes them move. That looks like a Final Fantasy monster. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Mm. It's a little hot. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. Not so really. last time I had takoyaki was in like 2006, wow. and I didn't like it at all. What? But yeah, it was weird. But let me try it now and see if I like it. How do you not like it? <laughs> mm. That's way better than what I remember. <laughs> you know, it's good. It's good. <clears throat> I don't know why I didn't like it back in the day. So. It's funny how this tastes Japanese. Like I, I think, whatever they put on there, it makes it taste Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> this was called beef giblets on the menu. We assume it's some sort of organ meat. I don't know what. Yeah. So this is ukon no shikara, which means the power of the root, whatever that is. Whatever. So yeah, you move the un here and the ko here. So ukon yeah. changed to unko. So they say ukon no shikara is the name, but instead they say unko no shikara, which means the power of poop. And that's like kind of a pre-drink that you drink before you drink to prevent hangovers from I'm drinking. This probably good. So what I like about Japanese awesome. fried chicken is on the outside they kind of like put pepper on it. It's like very peppery taste. It's really good. Did you, you know that in Korea there are more fried chicken places than in the U.S.? Really? Korea has more fried chicken places than the U.S. apparently. You know that China has more basketball players than the entire population of America. <laughs> like, we don't even know what this is. But I know you and me are about to eat some of this <laughs> and figure out what it is. <laughs> that's, that's what living is. Like, oh, I saw a great saying the other day. It said that experience is education for the soul. <laughs> or no. <laughs> experience is to the soul what education is to the mind. Right. So I'm going to try some of this hormones, beef hormones. <laughs> I don't know what that is. But if there's a defining characteristic of the meats that people don't normally eat, it's chewy. That's like, if you want to just like stereotype all other meats, it's chewy. <laughs> Okay, so the meal is complete. Drinks are complete. <laughs> we drank enough for Brian and Michael. No problems. Don't worry about that, guys. How was it, guys? Phenomenal. How was it? It was about putsu, putsu. Yeah, this is pretty normal. I mean, I like I like this place in terms of their food is good and drinks are. If you get a nomi hodai and all you can drink, then it can be worth it.
Christmas Carol movie with Picard, what's his name? Patrick Stewart. Oh, Patrick Stewart, yeah. Where they're like going all through the world, everyone's singing, everyone's singing that song. It's oh, awesome. really? I don't remember that. Oh, woman on the side. The ghost takes him to like a prison and they're all singing it too. Wow. Johnny! Johnny! Oh, that was awesome. That was fun, yeah. Any dinner where you sing Silent Night with a bunch of strangers <laughs> is a success. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> with a ukulele. Or the ukulele, yeah, it was crazy, man. That's like very moving. So that was a ukulele circle, and in Japan, a circle is kind of like a club. So they get together and play the ukulele, I guess. Yeah, that Dance and music brings the world together. Okay, so up next, we're going to the outdoor goods store to buy camping materials and stuff like that. I've never been there. I think Michael might have been there before. Oh, hold on, hold on. What's going on here? Oh, she's really hot, dude. Ha <laughs> ha. 